Pour jouer au plan physique, euh, ça a été très difficile. Pas mal de joueurs sont sortis sous blessure. Le gardien aussi, on l'a vu frôler la, le remplacement. Euh, comment expliquez-vous euh, cette situation où, qui a été très très difficile physiquement pour vos, vos joueurs Comment comptez-vous les, les récupérer parce que le match peut tout c'est d'ailleurs dans 4 jours Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't. I don't really know how how serious the injuries are. Um, but uh, okay, these these are situations that are happening in football, huh? and uh, we have uh, we have good players in the back who will step in. So uh, I know, and uh, that's why they are with us that um, they can do the job. Um, It is difficult with the players that have played today and it will be difficult for the players that will come in. So uh, uh, you have to deal with the situation. I think um, we had some good ideas how to defend these long balls against uh, this number nine uh, because uh, yeah, he is always the guy who, who is receiving these balls. Um, I told my, my, my boys We have to avoid corners, but sometimes you can't. Huh? And uh, then you, you sometimes uh, you need a little bit luck. Today we didn't we didn't uh, have the luck to really then uh, or that this guy is not exactly at the right position. Uh, but okay, it's not only about uh, being at the right position. He's just a good player. So uh, uh, sometimes then you can't defend it. Il a dit des, des enseignements. Déjà, en premier lieu, on a vu que l'équipe de Dubaï a été un peu plus, plus supérieure. Mais quels sont les enseignements avant la saison, avant le match de l'équipe de Dubaï Quels sont les enseignements de ce match de l'équipe de Dubaï Je vais vous dire dans le premier lieu. Qu'est-ce que j'ai dit Oui, ok. <laughs> <laughs> we knew we knew about the the dangerous situation and we knew about the dangerous players and uh, then we tried uh, okay as I said, just said uh, there are a lot of long balls coming f uh, to this number nine who just then is flipping it to to their wing players um, we try to avoid first these long balls you can't always uh, avoid them and then we tried if if these boys are in the air that uh, this this guy is not getting the chance to to get it somewhere to his uh, teammate i think this worked very well unfortunately we already back 1-0 after five minutes so now you can think about um, you are happy losing 1-0 or you still try to to get a point uh, and uh, so we had to push and they could easily stay back and uh, defend with with their quality and with their their bodies and um, yeah as i said i, I uh, it's it's we tried hard you could see our players were were doing but uh, yeah then in the end you could also see as i said uh, there's a lot of quality in benin match uh, benin team And uh, today it was not our day by being back uh, with one corner after after a few minutes. Uh, so uh, it was a difficult situation. If if it would be more longer uh, a zero zero, I think then the match would maybe go on to the other way. But uh, if you are if you are back after five minutes, then uh, yeah, it's hard. Oh. Um, coach, after uh, the withdrawal of number 17, uh, Manzi, from the defense, you had uh, to replace him uh, with a claim uh, Is it possible that uh, he's been one of the best, of course, uh, with uh, his partner, Hanje? The withdrawal of Manzi, uh, did uh, somehow Mavobi lose that uh, commanding backline that they used to have? Because he introduced a new member that has not been playing a lot uh, with uh, the boys at the back. Is there anything about it uh, at least losing that height of his in his command in the team at the back line? Um, you want to translate first? Or what? <laughs> donc, euh, donc, perdre Manzi, Manzi, il est numéro 17 qui a été blessé. Donc, euh, le perdre, est-ce que ça n'a ça, ça pas faibli le, la, ligne, la ligne de, de, la, de la commande de la défense? Donc, euh, 
Est-ce que ça n'a pas dérangé ton corps C'est ça en bref. Um, so Manzi, for sure, is uh, a very, very important player in our defense. So if uh, he had to get out uh, because of an injury, then uh, it's sure not a good situation. But for these situations, we have young local players in the back uh, who are working hard and fighting uh, to get a chance. And uh, I, uh, that's what I... I told my, my players and uh, I'm confident this is the situation then uh, where you as a young local player are getting the chance uh, to step in and then you have to show your quality and I think uh, Clement uh, did a good match. Um, if, if this second or third goal would have happened uh, with, uh, with Manzi, uh, nobody, can, nobody can answer, uh, but I, I think um, that's the situation these, these young players deserve to, to get a chance and I think um, he did well, uh, um, so um, yeah, what should I say? Thank you Mr. Bosch. <coughs> and uh, during the uh, call up uh, we have seen uh, a new player coming in, uh, Malvin. And uh, in the line of in the wrist, he was not even in the wrist. Uh, and uh, and said they were two. Uh, why did you choose uh, to, to rest them? Okay, here uh, with Marvin, uh, he is coming out from a long injury, and uh, uh, it was it was a test to invite him. We knew that he normally can't be match fit. Um, but uh, this is the way how I can see players like that and make a decision for the future. Uh, he didn't disappoint. Uh, you just could see that he is still not in a also physical uh, position to play this international match. And um, that's why he didn't come in. And uh, with Ani said, it is a situation he, he is also someone who is the first time in the team and uh, I hope you, you, you see the difference of playing football now as it was some months ago. This means uh, these, these boys need to, to get the information we are doing or telling them and doing in the training on the field. So it's not just, uh, we don't have high world-class players where you just say you come and you play. Uh, this is not uh, that is not the case in our in our team. So he also needs uh, some more training sessions. And then the the question is, shall we uh, take him with us or shall we leave him in Kigali? We said we take him with us because at least he has some training sessions here. But they are still not in a position that we as a, uh, the coaching team are thinking we are doing something good for us in this moment and something good for this boy in this moment. So uh, sometimes it, it takes a little bit more time to, to get ready. Uh, with, as I said, with Marvin it's also a, a physical uh, uh, situation and with Anisette it's just uh, getting some more days to, to adjust to our uh, way of playing.